getting ready to take back spiritual force, take back the power, because the Bible said, greater is he that is inside of me than he that is in the world. And tonight I'm here to stir somebody in their spirit that God has given you the power as a champion. I am not going to allow uh, this uncircumcised devil uh, to curse me uh, by the name of the Lord. My God, uh, this is the time uh, where I'm not going to stay uh, and play harp anymore. Uh, this is the only time uh, I'm not going to watch sheep. Uh, this is the only time uh, I'm going to break some protocol. Uh, this is my warning. out of position that are going to turn on you because you move them from their position and if you do not know scripture the people in the church will get with the person that you had to move out of position in order for the church to move on they'll get with them and they'll be split so I gotta break this curse right now before it gets started when you become a bishop you're no longer the pastor so you have to appoint people to the position that the pastor was handling because now you're moving up into a hierarchy. And if you put the wrong people in place, the person that you put in your position to be the pastor will actually think they're the pastor. And they begin to question your authority. So the first thing we have to do is confront the real spirit of Jezebel. Used to be stagnated. Turn around and say to your neighbor, I will not be slowed down. I'm moving forward from this day forward. As we leave out of the spiritual warfare conference, you are going to catch up where the enemy took you, where the enemy left you. God sent me to tell you that you're going to be in a chariot like Elijah and you will overtake. God wants you to have faith. The Bible says Abraham staggered not with unbelief, believing, amen, that he that has promised is able to perform it. It doesn't matter how long it takes, but I came to tell somebody that delay is not denial. Hold on. Hope against hope. For he that shall come will surely come. If you believe that, shout it, yeah. I can't be praying and praying, fasting and fasting, tithing and tithing, ministry after ministry, and nothing happen. Tell your neighbor something's got to change. The Bible said, get your sandals on. Get your walking stick. We're going to get out of this place because the Egyptians has held us long enough in the house. My body is the temple, the house of the living God. The blood is on the doorpost. It's on the lintel covering me when the death angel comes running through the city of New York. It's looking for people who do not have the blood. But as long as I have the blood over the doorpost and the lintel, I am covered. That's why the Bible said, by his stripes, I am healed. Look at your neighbor and say healed. By his stripes. I am healed. Deliverance must come because the blood still works. Oh yes, he is. Sing for every need. Take it back. It's yours. Father, release. Take it, take it, touch, 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 touch. Oh, Rama, Mama, Shokor, Rama, Mama, Rebe, I release the anointing 
of the Holy Spirit right now. Touch! I wasn't the most popular one. I wasn't the one expected to make it, but I made it. And there is no other explanation but God's. And they can't wait to go home to turn the heat on you through the telephone. You're not hearing me here. I said we got some. Stop looking for witches, warlocks, and cursors in the world. They are functioning in the church and are putting you through hell. Table has turned. This is no longer your season, devil. This is my time now. I'm still here. I'm still standing. Say, devil, I have a news flash for you. I am up again, and I'm on my feet again, and I'm loose. I got my joy back. I got my peace back. I got my dance back out to praise. Tell the world, I am getting ready to praise like I've never praised before. I'm going to shout and I'm going to dance like I've never danced before. Come on, put your praise on.